Traction control off. Feels so good. back to another video guys how are we doing today i hope you guys are doing well at home i'm doing fantastic i look good i feel good <laughs> that's why i feel good so i'm looking good i got a fresh cut so that's making me uh, feel myself a little bit but for today's video guys we're going to be reviewing the uh short shift that we installed not too long ago it's from torque solutions reduces i believe um 27 percent of shifter throw also we installed the mishimoto um shift knob so we also installed the steering wheel quick release hub from uh, nrg and we are going to be reviewing that as well so stay tuned for that but for right now what i want you guys to do is go down hit the like button hit the subscribe button if you're new here and also turn on the post notifications when we get today's video popping so um we're gonna be reviewing that but before we do so we got to do one quick thing to the 350z to make this video a little bit more exciting for you guys so you guys don't know we don't have an exhaust we don't have an intake we don't have nothing on the 350z the car is completely stocked besides the wheels that somebody else threw on and um the exhaust is stock 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 so i want to get more noise for you guys so what we're going to do today is we're going to take off the mid pipe and the uh muffler we're going to delete that and hopefully we don't get pulled over or anything like that hopefully i don't jinx myself fingers crossed and uh let's just get to doing that real quick We're gonna get to releasing the mid pipe and after that we will be able to release the uh, muffler as well I'm gonna give you guys a little quick a little quick sum sum real fast just so that you guys could hear how it sounds before and then we'll do tomorrow the after once I get it on the street but let me see all right so this is kind of super hard to do with one hand so I'm gonna set you guys down right there I'm gonna get to turn it on the car hopefully it doesn't sound anything crazy because I did release the bolts hopefully it still sounds pretty stock but let's try this out So you guys hear right there the difference? So you guys can already hear the difference, but for the most part, it's super, super quiet. So I'll show you guys the after tomorrow, but for right now, I gotta turn this thing off. Before it gets too hot to touch. All right, so we got the mid pipe off real quick. Let's see if I can pull it this way. All right. That's the mid pipe there. There's that giant ass muffler. Damn, you guys see that? I'm gonna sweat, look. Hey, look at those things. Super, super wet. Super, super gross. Look at my hands. I you guys can see that, but super, super wet. It's super, super hot in here, super, super humid. So I'm gonna get um, going. I'll catch you guys tomorrow once we have the car smog, once we have it tagged, once we have it registered and insured. And we will get to the review and finish off the video there. So, um. Hope you guys are enjoying so far. Let's get to it. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Are right, so you guys ready for that cold start? It's actually like fully, fully. Now you guys can see that. Fully, fully cold right there. Um, we're on accessory two, and this is that cold start for you guys. Ready? One, two, three. Nothing crazy, check this out. Hear it? It gets a lot crazier. So, um, that is the cold start, guys. So, um, I wish I keep it like that, but I gotta get an exhaust for it. Um, don't know exactly what I'm gonna go with yet. If you guys have any suggestions, going down in the comments down below. Um, let me know down there. Um, also, we gotta get rid of the kinetic converters because those things restrict these things or these cars or these motors a lot. So, um, we'll try to get rid of those uh, as soon as possible as well. Don't know what I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna straight pipe it or what. I don't know exactly what at all. But um, we'll figure out an exhaust setup in the future. Um, but like I said, let me know in the comments down below. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six. And reverse right there. 
every gear goes in perfectly fine as it should now we're gonna take it for a drive real fast first drive first time the 350z is on the street on video i drove it from my grandma's pad over here and i drove pretty good but now let's go do that review for you guys hopefully everything turns out okay test out the steering wheel test out the shifter shift knob see if i like everything we'll go from there let's go lucky for me I live like in a rural area, so um, there's not much traffic. So um, we get a lot of straightaways, which will be cool and fun for us. Let's go. Mm. So first thing I noticed is um, all the shifts so far are like pretty damn crisp and precise and they are a little bit shorter. Not s substantially, but pretty nice. Alright, so we can't be too loud in town, but once we get out of town, I'm trying to make up for that. I might get rid of it, might not, we'll see in the future. 
but for right now or maybe when i get different seats it'll be a little bit better but for right now i'm gonna leave the quick release off because i didn't like it but let's keep on testing out this uh shifter and i'll let you guys know at the end of the video if i recommend it so to a spot i think it's gonna be fine hopefully you guys don't fall but you guys are still gonna be able to hear quite a bit so we're gonna do traction control off we're gonna launch it like a 2500 ac is off we'll do three like 3200 If you drive like Honda, if you drive um, 350s, if you're into kind of like not dragging or not like actual racing or stuff like that, but you like the feel of um of being in the driver's seat and like actually feeling like your shifts go in precisely, stuff. I don't know exactly what the word is, but there's like a certain something that makes everything feel a lot better, and that's why we get these upgraded parts. So um that's why I upgraded the shifter because I knew from the very get-go I did not like the stock shifter or shift knob or steering wheel i did not like them as a complete whole thing so i had to change them out and i am super super glad that i changed them all up regardless of the fact that i didn't like the steering wheel completely regardless of the fact that i didn't like the shift knob completely i am feeling the shifter completely bro the shifter made such a difference improved everything so much more um i have taken this thing on the road before when i drove it back from hanford when i picked it up um i've done a couple little donuts here and there i've driven it a tiny tiny bit whenever i got the chance but i knew how how the stock one felt and i know how this one feels now and this thing is amazing bro i'm not sponsored in any which way but i would 100 percent recommend this i know i said i was gonna wait to the end of the video but i completely recommend this whole setup is good it's not perfect if you're looking for something to do there's 350z interior wise that's gonna help out with driving wise drivability I would say do these three things bro or yeah three things so a shifter shift knob and a steering wheel bro it helps tremendously there's not i don't know bro I, i'm digging it i can't get enough of it bro i've only driven it like so much but i can i can't wait for the future of this thing bro like that's how bad it is like i just can't wait to keep filming content with this thing bro let me just put it that way super super excited And then especially with like the sound, it makes it that much better, bro. I can't wait till I get an exhaust. You hear those downshifts? Are they precise or not? Am I, am I tripping? I feel like they're hella good, bro. Am I tripping or am I, am I just like a whack ass driver, bro? Let me know in the comments down below. If you guys are liking the video as well, hit the like button, hook me up. You guys are picking that up. But it sounds so good. At least for me, I like it, bro. I like it. I don't know if I'm just excited because, like, I finally have some sound on the 350Z or because it sounds good. I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below. 
Bro, everybody be talking about how DEs don't sound good. Just fucking muffler delete and made a pipe delete, bro. And your thing sounds good, bro. I think this thing sounds super, super good. And it's free, bro. different than my Honda's bro bro just my luck oh my god this thing sucks bro so we got a nail in the flipping tire bro don't know if you guys can see that or not but that's a nail in the tire and now we got to plug it up hopefully it doesn't leak on us because then I'll need new tires and I don't want to get new tires because I don't want to keep these wheels these wheels are super super ugly and I'm trying to get rid of them ASAP like Rocky just my luck guys it's super super sad but it is what it is um how to go do that review for you guys i hope you guys enjoyed the video so far um we'll finish the review in just a little bit but let's get this tire or this wheel removed get that tire plugged up and uh wrap up this video let's go All right, there she is, all patched up, ready to go. Um, these are brand new tires, and check these things out already. Check that out, bro. Look how eaten up those things are. Look at that. <laughs> From doing a burnout and doing the donuts and stuff, but it is what it is. I don't want these rims anyway. So um, once I do get new rims, I will be getting new tires. Um, let's get this wheel back on. Bro, thank God for these LEDs uh, installed into the 350Z, bro. They help out so much. Um, it's almost nighttime right now. Yeah, I know it looks like daytime, but it's kind of hard to see in here without the LEDs, you feel me? So, um, kind of the, the way I'm positioned as well, but LEDs, bro, the way to go. They help out so much. Look at the cabin, bro. You can see everything in here. So, um... <laughs> Get back to topic, bro. So I wanted to finish the review. I wanted to finish it on the road, but um, we did get that flat tire. Wanted to bring her home as soon as possible. Forgot to start filming um, what happened, whatnot. But we made it home, showed you guys the nail. Um, we got her patched up and now she's good to go. We filled her up with air. Um, went around all the tires, got them all aired up as well. And now everything's Gucci. So for the review guys, everything was pretty much said in the video already. I did mention that I did not like the ship now completely. I mentioned that I did not like the steering wheel completely. I mentioned why exactly. Um, the steering wheel was a little bit too slippery. And uh, that's pretty much it. I like the, the depth of it. I like the color chosen for the uh, center stripe. I like um, the design of it. I like everything about the steering wheel besides it being just a little tiny bit. Uh, slippery but other than that I like the steering wheel I said the ship knob was a little bit too skinny for me for my liking I drive Honda's the ship knobs are a little bit more uh, girthy and um, this one is not as girthy and it has a little bit more length to it not for my liking I might go with something different in the future but for right now it is weighted that's my favorite part about the shift knob but the rest of it I did not like so um on the future I will be looking for a new uh, ship knob uh, shifter itself that's what the review pretty much is about um shifter is is fantastic bro i give it a like i'm gonna give it like an eight out of ten bro because um it could be a little bit more reduction of the uh throw but for the price point it's a good shifter like definitely like i said i'm gonna give it an eight out of ten if you guys want to cop one link in the description down below i pretty much showed you guys everything i could show you from that shifter all the shifts went in precisely and they go kind of in like stiff a little bit and i kind of dig it um 
when you're um, building a car, I think you want that stiffness. I think it's better when it goes in a little bit stiffer, so that way you make sure it's in gear. I don't know, I like it. It makes my life a little bit easier. I know exactly what gear I'm going into, and um, I don't know what else to say, guys. That's the review for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was a little bit of a longer one, so I'm trying to get this video finished. So, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, subscribe to the channel, turn on the post notifications as well, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Peace.